What's up, Bulldogs? All right, today I wanna to show you something I'm really excited about. It is some productivity software that I've been meaning to do a video on. I'm finally getting around to it. It's been something that I've been using. I've been basically dog fooding this and implementing kind of my productivity system using this. And what's really cool about the software is that it pretty much does everything that I want, uh, plus some additional features, stuff that I hadn't even really thought about. And it really captures all of the kind of productivity stuff that I already do, plus some additional things here. So I'm gonna show you this here. The product is called Sunsama, and I've been using this for probably the last few months now, and I found it to be extremely useful because it has, like I said, so much of the, the productivity uh, systems already built in place, including calendar integration. I'm gonna give you kind of a, a show of the, this whole thing and how I use this. And if you really wanna increase your productivity, you need a productivity system. This is more than just a to-do list. This is a really good piece of software. Uh, probably the best that I've found for productivity, honestly. And I've gone through a lot of different productivity softwares. So here's the basic idea of this. You might already uh, recognize that this is very similar to the productivity system that I used to do with Kanban flow, if you've seen my videos on that. But I actually think this is better because I had to sort of modify that application to be able to do what I wanted, but this is already built in to do this, right? So the whole idea behind this is very similar to Trello, except that it has got so much more than that. And, and you can see here, basically what you end up doing is you end up planning out your week. So the way that this works here, is that they're gonna basically give you uh, an, an option that when you start the day, you're gonna do this daily planning. And so what you're gonna do with this is you're going to uh, put in all the tasks that you wanna get done today, and then you can put in a weekly objective, right? And there's this whole backlog thing where you could in include task, task one, whatever, task, task two, and you can have a, a, a list of all the, the backlogs that you have, but you could also draw from your calendar if you had stuff on your calendar and drag it in here and take a look at that in that viewpoint or some tasks that you have like on a trello board so you could pull in tasks from there you could pull in tasks from email as well if you wanted and then like i said you've got the backlog there there's a couple of other integrations which i'll show you as well and you can look at the archive of the stuff that basically you didn't end up getting done so that's the basics is that you, you create this thing you decide what you're going to work on and then after and this happens every day and then you put in the actual planning time right so like i'm doing the the promotion video for this here and then you can look at what you're going to do tomorrow and what are you going to do next week so this is it's really cool because it allows you to really plan things out to a very detailed level which is very important for being productive and then it, it has you bump the tasks that you aren't aren't essential for you to get done today so you can push some things out off to tomorrow or next week and then you finalize your plan and you decide what time you're going to shut down and you could add this to your calendar right so you can basically have all of these things on your calendar here you can fit them in if you want to do it that way and then when you say looks good then what happens is it, it comes up with this whole plan for today and ignore this because a lot of this is like some of the stuff i was cleaning out and then you could put your obstacles in your way and you could actually post this to slack if you wanted so that's uh that's pretty dang cool so i'm just gonna hit get started here and then what you'll find is that you can now plan out your your entire week and you could plan out as far in advance as you would like or you can go back in time you can just look at the calendar here which is really cool and you can see how much time it's going to take you based on how much you've allocated here and you can group these things right now i've got a couple of them grouped but you can use these channels so you can do your personal or different ones for i've got for simple programmer and then so you can see if you wanted to divide this up in different ways other thing uh here that, that you've got with this is you could view things from the calendar view and see exactly what you have on your calendar and where all your tasks fit in there if you prefer to do things that way. And then, like I said, you've got the Trello integration there, Gmail integration. You can keep your weekly objectives and your backlog of all your tasks here. And then you can add other integrations. There's like a GitHub, there is a Jira, there is a Asana, and then Todoist. I know a lot of people use that one. And then Outlook 
and then ClickUp. I don't know what ClickUp actually is, but yeah, but it basically integrates with all of those things, which which is pretty cool. The other things that it does also is when you do a shutdown at the end of the day, it shows you how you spent your time and you can see if you really you know, you know go to the uh, degree of dividing things up into the different categories, you can see where the time is actually being spent. And so there's a, it shows you what you didn't get to. And then you can put in your daily shutdown here, post it to Slack and then uh, you can do the wrap up. And then what it will do is it'll automatically move your tasks forward. So if I look at this, actually in this case it, it didn't because it's not the next day yet, but if I had left this task and don't finish this, it would show up on the Monday, which is pretty cool as well. There's also a weekly planning where you can you know, set up your weekly objectives for the week, right? And you can go through that and same deal there. And then you can also do a uh, weekly review, which is really cool as well, where you can see your productivity for the week, how you spent your time, and then you can set up your tasks for the next week as well, which is really cool. So uh, really useful software. Like I said, I have used a lot of different productivity applications out there, and I feel like this one just does pretty much everything you need. I really like the calendar integration where you can just put all of the tasks into the calendar if you want to. And uh, in, in being able to integrate with Trello and all these things, and then being able to track the time. Also, when you work on a task, you can come in here and you can basically start the task here. It's like a little focus mode here. And you can, of course, take a break, do like a five minute break if you want. So it allows you to use the Pomodoro technique if you want to, to do that, which is really cool. I, I like this. Like I said, I don't really have anything that I could say is negative about this thing. The only thing I think some of you might not like is the price. I think it's a reason, reasonable price. It's $20 a month or $16 a month if you buy the yearly membership. But for most of you guys that are really into productivity, it, it only has to save you $20 worth of time per month to be worth it, which clearly this is, is pretty easy. I don't know how you value your time, but if you value your time over $20 an hour, if, if this thing saves you an hour worth of time, which it definitely saves me more than an hour worth of time, it's clearly worth paying the 20 bucks a month to check it out. So anyway, check it out. I'm gonna put a link down below and you can sign up for the trial. I think they have a 14 day trial that's totally free if you want and then you can sign up after that. But I highly recommend it. Like you need to have some kind of productivity system I'm still learning the tool and, and still like getting more more in depth with it as I'm integrating this more and more into my planning, but they're constantly adding new features, all, all these things I'm discovering as I'm looking at, at this tool. And it, it, it really is, is a powerful uh, way to increase your productivity because it allows you to organize everything. And then planning your week is one of the most productive, single most productive things I've ever done in my life. I remember the first year when I started planning my week, I got done about probably four to five times more work than I had done in the past three years. Like in one year, I did probably four years worth of work, if not more, it probably was even more than that. I accomplished so much once I had started planning my week, I didn't realize how powerful of a technique that is. Yeah, go check it out if you want. And uh, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are already using this or not. And I know a lot of people aren't gonna complain about the price, but man, I, I'm telling you, if this adds to your productivity, if it saves you even half an hour a month, it's probably worth it. If, if it just makes you that much more productive, lets you get an extra hour worth of work done with something like this. If you haven't been planning your week and you start doing this, like I said, I saw a three to four X increase in my productivity. If you haven't done weekly planning and then you start using this, uh, I guarantee you, you're gonna see a huge boost in productivity. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this and if you've tried it out and if it's helped you with your productivity. So, all right guys, talk to you next time.